A year ago, I embarked on a journey into one of RuneScape's temporary game modes, the Trailblazer League, which was an Iron Man game mode that lasted two months where you got to take advantage of cool power-ups and relics to progress your account. Now, despite being a PKer, I managed to climb the ranks and hold the top page position. And now, leagues are back. Leagues 3 is called the Shattered Relics League. Still an Iron Man, still a bunch of power-ups in the form of relics that have been shattered into fragments. I'm going to be working to complete tasks to get a currency called Renown, which I'll use to unlock skills, bosses, and quests, one at a time. Fragments are achieved just by playing the game randomly through skilling or for a monster drop, and as I get more fragment slots, I get more passive buffs, which could be something like a higher XP multiplier. For example, by the time I completed a bunch of the tasks, I could be getting time 16 XP for all I know. We don't know much going into it, and that's the way Jax like to keep it. However, I've got my mind set on being at the top of the leaderboard again, so let's get into it. Bro, I'm in the game now. Open the leagues menu, okay. Can I click now? Like, what? Task, oh, task, continue. Choose mage. Accept. You just you just want to click like you hate doing the menu. Yeah, me either. I'm just going through. End tutorial, please, bro. Thank God. All right, all right. Bro, we only got uh, 150 mine runes. Pick wheat. Yeah, I just got it. Okay, I've got stung by a bee. All right, I caught a ship. Five points. Let's go. Dude, this guy already got a fragment. What the fuck? What kind of fragment you get? Nah, some guy. He got the catch of the day. Okay, so this guy next to me just got the catch of the day fragment, which all types of fishing has a 1 in 500 slash 400 slash 200 chance to roll the rare drop table. Huh. Cool. Burn some food, cook some food, check pets. Oh, I have the nightmare pet too! What the hell? So a really cool feature of leagues is that any pets that you got in the previous leagues are actually available to reclaim on this leagues. And as you guys know, I got six pets in the Trailblazer League. So I whipped out my little nightmare. Where is the waystone? Oh, right there. Activate. Okay, I see it. Sure, I'll take a beer. Five points. Yep, got it. Uh, I just got my 10k. Watch there be some guy waiting here at fuck it. Actually, he won't be able to one hit me. I could just pull the lever. All right, Hazel's cult completed. 1.5k Thieving XP. 24 Thieving. Come on now. 75 League points. 15 Sage Renowns. I don't even know how you say that, bro. Steal some Silk. That's a tusk. All right, let's do it. We finally got it. Nice. 10 points to unlock agility. Okay, agility unlocked. All right, well, I got talent agility. I don't even know how I'm going to attack one of these moss giants without dying, bro. Okay, okay, I got, a, I got one in a safe spot. I'm chilling. I just got more points for completing the drainer agility course and for completing a course in general. And as we reached the hour mark into leaks, it was 2 a.m. and I was revving to go and the servers went offline as they messed up the update and main accounts and league's accounts were saving wrongly people were losing hardcore and ultimate ironman statuses and they ended up taking the service offline now i don't want to cry too much in this video as i am here to entertain you and i will continue to do so but i just wanted to say really quickly i do think the fact that these things are constantly happening from jax for example with the dmm a couple months ago that still hasn't been rerun and honestly with a bunch of other updates the majority of the people know how much of a fuck up the finale was, but a lot of people don't even know that it was really bad on release. Half the relics didn't even work, and there's just constant QA testing issues with Jax and their updates. I, I just think it's really unacceptable to constantly have these issues, especially when people take time off, have jobs relying on it, just for it to be messed up on release. Now, because I live in New Zealand, I had no idea when the servers were going to go back online, and I didn't really have high hopes. It was 2.30 a.m., so I just decided to go back to sleep and get back at it in the morning and hope it was back up. All right, that is Sheep Shear completed. Some more points out of that. Let's carry on. Defeat a Goblin, some more points out of that. I think I've already got the points for borrowing a bone, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I have. All right, let me tan this thing for some more points. What, that's 30 Sages Renown now. I can buy a lot more shit. I'm just not going to at this moment. Um, let me see if I can kill an Alcred Warrior without getting smoked, too. All right, and that is X marks the spot done. Doesn't really give you a point or anything, but it does let me go to Karen and stuff, so I'd love to come. Thank you very much. And it also gives me a little XP lamp, which I'm just going to use on defense. It doesn't really matter. I'm only really going to be trading my defense through, I don't know. Let's just use this lamp on defense, get 1.5k defense XP. Puts us to 11 defense. Nothing wrong with that. If I'm not mistaken, toss us some 5 points real quick. Yeah, bank it, Lanza. Nice. Opening 28 coin pouches at once should be another 5 points. So we have 38 Sages Renown now. 240 League points. 60 more points until the tier 3. Should get some more points from stealing a cup of tea right then. Only need 55 points until tier 3 now. Alright, get by a house is another task. 45 more points now until tier 3. Buy a plank. Mine some copper ore. Another 5 points. Should get some more points for wielding a staff. 30 more points to go. Alright, that is rune mystery done for 5 points. I think teleporting in here should be another 5 points if I'm not mistaken. Is it? Yeah, it is. 
All right, make an air rune. That should be what? Oh, that's two. That's two. That's ten more points just like that. I think that was two toss. I just completed two sages renowned from that. I'm just gonna build a room real quick while I'm here as well because it is another couple of free points. Another free five points just like that. I've got 51 sages renowned, which means I can unlock some stuff if I want to. Should I do a maze? All right, 66. Oh my, 65% of the reward left. What are we getting? Come on, give me gnats. Give me gnats. What did you give me? 114 feathers and a mithril ore. Sick, bro. Five points. Okay, this is going to be big for my mage XP. I can read these little books of arcane knowledge and just get a bunch of mage XP when I do it. 1.5k mage XP drop. That puts me to 21 magic just like that. Jesus. 35 magic. 36 magic. 38 magic. My total level's at 127 now. 40 magic. 41 magic. Reach combat level 25. Another 5 points. Damn. All right, final book should get me to 60 mage, so we'll leave here for now. Probably come back at some point because there are some more tasks to do. But we're currently at, what, 465 league points. That just gave us 50 points right there. Achieve your first level 60. I'll absolutely take those. 67 Sages Renown, which obviously can unlock skills and stuff, which I'll end up doing later. 72 tasks completed, 1,035 points until the next tier. Klein of Karen completed. That's another five points right there. I think I could start another quest here, too. All right, I'm going to use these lamps. Fishing... 500 fish XP gets me to 19, and this on agility gets me to 26. Nice. Oh, I don't even have to go to Draenor then. All right, and that is Queen of Thieves completed. 2k thieving XP, 2k cash as well. That gets me to 36 thieving. Very, very nice. Okay, I have 69 sages renowned, 470 league points. I'm actually going to unlock some stuff while I'm here. I'm going to unlock um, HP because I'm going to need more than 10 HP, let's be honest. Except I want to unlock... Oh, look at this little look at this little animation for unlocking HP. Damn. Okay, so I can actually train my HP past 10 now. Um, I'm also gonna unlock Hunter, so I can do the, go do the Varric Museum very very quickly. And I'm also gonna unlock Attack. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna unlock Strength too. I just don't want to use the points right now because I'm not gonna go do Waterfall just yet. But when I get there, I will. Hopefully, I won't forget. All right, time to do the Museum quiz. I don't have Slayer unlocked, so I'm not gonna get any of the Slayer XP from this. But it doesn't matter. We'll do that later. I will get the Hunter XP from it though. Okay, no Slayer XP, like I said, but that gets us to 25 Hunter, and it's another 5 points for completing the Natural History Quiz. We now have, what, 75 tasks completed? Alright, I'm gonna do Tribal Totem for some Thieving XP and for some fucking Swordfish. Okay, and that's Tribal Totem completed, getting me to 40 Thieving, and it gives me some Swordfish. And at level 10 HP, that's gonna come out and very handy. I just got 5 points for visiting the Tree Gnome Village. Alright, we're gonna start this quest, Tree Gnome Village. We are 10 HP, but we will be able to train our HP as the quest goes along, so that should be fine. Alright, I don't know that I can actually go do this fight with 10 HP without getting one hit, so I'm gonna go do the fight arena real quick, because I should be able to safe spot some of the bosses in there, and that will get me some HP XP, so let's go do that first. Okay, got this ogre in a nice little safe spot, should get our HP up a little bit from just this quest, and then we can go do Tree Gnome Village and the Grand Tree as well. This guy's just like, I'm gonna be looking like that nightmare pet in a few days from now. Ditter, what's up, man? It's six weeks, let me smell your feet, bro, I don't wanna put this guy in the hospital. All right, I forgot to record, but I just completed the fight arena. So 44 thieving, 49 attack. Let's go. Okay, and that's Train Gnome Village completed. 11k attack XP, getting me to 56 attack just like that. And we also get access to the, what's it called? Train Gnome system, which means I should be able to go to the Grand Tree or the Gnome Stronghold right away and start that quest off. I got a, I got an unidentified skilling fragment. Let's break it. Uh, I got the Alka, Alka Maniac. Isn't that the, isn't that the good one? That's so good, isn't it? Bro, perfect time, and I just came back from my poop, and the black demon's dead. Okay, and this should be the grand tree done, which is going to give me a bunch of a bunch of XP. 46 agility, 62 attack, and 61 magic off of that. Very nice. I'm going to go start on the feud now, I think. Okay, and that is the feud completed. 15k thieving XP, which is actually a bunch more. Puts me at 55 thieving. I do need to get 50 agility, too. Thieving is going to be great for the, po uh, for the task and points down the line. And probably in today's episode, we're currently at 490 league points with 77 tasks completed, but that will be flying up in a bit. Oh, I just got a, I got a skilling fragment while doing pyramid. Let's see what I got. Uh, yes, yes, I got the golden brick road. I can get the trailblazer set effect now. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, that's awesome because the trailblazer set effect is basically like a portable waystone, which is just going to allow me to teleport all over the map, which is very, very nice. Coming at the same time, I get my first pyramid top. So let's go cash that in for 10k too. Okay, and that is our first 10k. We only have 2k cash left, so we're definitely going to sell this, get ourselves 12k, 25 points earned from turning in a pyramid top too. Let's go get this uh, amulet or this uh, lodestone thing. How do I uh, collect items? 
Oh shit! Teleportable teleport waystone. Activate one set effect. Twenty five points right there. Nice, bro. Yeah, it, I've never even gone to Relica. It just lets you go there. That's so cool. Damn. Oh, I just got another fragment while I was doing my agility. Let's see what it is. Grave robber fragment. What's that? The amount of hallowed marks received is increased by fifty percent, one hundred fifty percent, three hundred percent. Okay, that doesn't help either anyway because I have to get a six thirty. But yeah, damn, that's pretty sick, dude. My fragment allows coins to spawn with my mark of grace, so I just got 4k for free. We'll take those. Okay, I just got 50 agility, which is good because I need to go buy a lockpick for stealing artifacts later. That's how I'm going to train my thieving. There's also another, what's it called? Another task at 20 drainer laps. So I'm just going to complete that while I'm here. Okay, and that is 30 or, yeah, 30 laps of the drainer agility course done. 25 points, two stages renowned for that. We're at what? Uh, 560, uh, 565 points right now. All right, I'm going to unlock prayer. That's a costly fucking thing, man. 30 uh, things for prayer. Jeez. Okay, and that is a Chaos Dwarf down. Oh, I got a looting bag as well. First kill ever. Oh, that is so, so nice. Yeah, I'll absolutely take that. Bro, someone just snared me. I'm actually getting PK. Bro, I hate having this name. I hate having this name, bro. He has Prey Mage too. Like, what? Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, I gated him. I gated him. Let's see what happens. If none of these hit him, thank you. There's someone sculled here too, bro. Like, this is ridiculous, bro. Fuck this. I got- I gained 500 XP in your alchemic fragment. Nice. 552 out of 8k. Okay, that's a lava dragon down. Add a rune kite shield in the same drop. Wow, that is very, very good. Barring a lava dragon bone should also be a, some very decent amount of points right here. Am I correct? 15 prayer and 25 points off of that. Nice. Oh, I just got another fragment. What we send? What we send? Oh, 500 XP in my alchemic fragment. Another one. Nice. 1k out of 8k. Oh, I got a blood rune drop. Let's go. Oh, damn. 50 points. Damn. Let's go. Bro, I got another rune kite shield. Oh my god. Let's go. This guy just rocks up, he's like, will you kill me? I'm like, nah, you're my boy. Come on now. I'm making friends out here at the Lava Dragon Isle, oh, bro. Alright, that's my sixth Lava Dragon Bone. Okay, defeat an adult Chromatic Dragon. Let's go. First toss, or first Green Dragon completed. I will kill another one because there's two toss of the Dragon Bones. Defeat a Green Dragon in the Wilderness was also a toss. Damn. Okay, I got 20 points just like that. So we're at 680 League points now. Let's kill another one and we'll get out of here. Ooh, another Identified Fragment. What we said. What we saying? Another one in Alchemaniac Fragment. I got 1.5k out of 8k now. Nice. Okay, we should get a toss for burying a Dragon Bone, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we should get a toss for using a Dragon Bone, if I'm not mistaken. That was 25 points right there. This should give me another 25 points, or maybe like 5 points. I don't know. Um, and now let's use all the... Yeah, they give me 5 points. And now let's use the Lava Dragon Bones. I'm already at 24 Prayer. Hopefully this gets us to at least Prey Mage. A little bit more would be nice. 38 prayer, we've got prey mage, that's nice. 47 combat now, and we have 735 league points. So there's actually milestone artifact toss at 1 artifact, 10 artifacts, 25 artifacts, 50 artifacts, um, 100 artifacts, 250 artifacts. Like, there's a bunch of toss from this. It gives you a bunch of thieving XP too. It's just really good to do. I left artifacts for a little bit just to go complete some easier tasks. I think I got, well, yeah, 25 points from obtaining 800 coins from coin pouches at once. And I think I got another task there for just opening 28 coin pouches at once. I'm not too sure. But, uh, yeah. Pickpocketing a guard and pickpocketing a varic guard, both two tasks like that. Very, very nice. Giving us some more points. We're all on 820 league points now. Feed a rock crab. Another easy task we got out the way. Task for becoming... Oh, it's 100% favor, huh? Damn, nice. Yeah, I just got a fragment, skilling fragment from handing that in. Deeper pockets, what's that? Wait, do I get- do we get money from this? Should I go put it on now? I just stole 10 artifacts. That's only 5 points, but they're gonna rack up. Alright, that's 70 thieving, which is achieving my first level 70. That is 50 points and 3 sages renown or whatever. Uh, what are we at? 885 league points right now. 98 tasks completed. I stole my 25th artifact just now. That's 25 league points and, uh, 2 sages renown. Damn, I just got more XP for my deeper pockets. All right, I got another skill and fragment. Let's see what he got. Damn, more XP and smooth criminal. My smooth criminal fragment is now level two. I'm not sure exactly what that means. 
So at level 1, the chance to successfully pickpocket is increased by 15%. But at level 2, I no longer take any damage from being stunned. And this chance to successfully pickpocket is by 25%. So if I want to go do something like Arty Knights or something, I just wouldn't take any damage. Unidentified fragment, miscellaneous. What are we saying? Mes message in a bottle fragment. I think that's the clue fragment, actually. I think that's sick. Let me just double check. Clue vessels found more. Okay, no, that's not the fire making one, but it is still good. Clue vessels found from scaling are found three times as often. Okay, that is still pretty decent. Another unidentified skill and fragment. More smooth criminal. I'm at almost 3k XP now. Damn. Unidentified fragment, skilling. Deeper pockets. Let's go. Unidentified fragment, skilling. Deeper pockets is now level two. We'll take that. Another identified fragment skill, and I think this is going to be deeper pop or a smooth criminal. There we go. 3.3k out of 8k XP in that. Smooth criminals at 3.8k out of 8k. And that is my first level 90, 90 thieving. We're actually going to leave uh, stealing artifacts for now. We will have to come back here later, but I am just going to go do some other thieving tasks for now. That is 125 points and four stages renowned like that. 1,135 points now. 90 thieving is very strong. 91 thieving is going to be even stronger. Let's get these league points flying up. Pickpocketing a hero is 50 points just like that. Stealing from a gem stall is another 50 points just like that. You don't even fail with this uh, relic and this set effect. I haven't failed a single time. Pickpocketing a Knight of Ardun 50 times for another 25 points. Let's go. We're now at what? 1260? Another quick and easy 25 points is pickpocketing a master farmer. What are we at now? Uh, 1285. Okay, I'm going to go do Gertrude's Cat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock cooking now so that I don't forget to do it when I claim the quest. It is 20 renown points, but I don't really care. we got a bunch right now. We've got 60. And we have unlocked cooking. Let's get our ass to Varrock. All right, and this should be Gertrude's cat completed. We'll give us a bit of cooking XP. Please tell me it's unlocked. Yep, all the way to 29 cooking. Gives us a cat. We don't really care about the cat. But this means we can start Ichiren's little helper or however you say it. That's also a task completed for five points, which allows us to go do pyramid plunder and everything like that. This fragment I have smooth criminal basically makes it impossible for me to get stunned while doing these Knights of Arty. So I'm just going to get very, very close to 91 thieving here. Go over to the desert and start getting started on some of those tasks. Unidentified fragment, skilling. Damn, 500 XP in deeper pockets, 2.5 out of 8k. I just got another relic. Oh, some more smooth criminal, 5k out of 8k, jeez. Another skilling fragment, smooth criminal, 6k out of 8k. My arcane conduit fragment is now level 2, damn it, leveled up, that's pretty awesome. Anyway, we are 68k XP off 91 thieving, just gonna go do some more thieving tasks and stuff like that. First, I am going to head over to Falador and do some tasks there, and then we're going to make our way into the desert. Okay, that's another 25 points for completing the Falador agility. I also bought a Mithril Mace so that I can do some of the prayer bonus tasks in a bit. Oh shit, equipping a Mithril weapon was a task in itself. That's another 5 points. Is equip an Addy weapon a task? Probably. Oh yeah, equip an Adamant weapon. That's 25 points right there. Nice. Okay, and that is what? 25 points for reaching a prayer bonus to 15? I'm not sure if you get a task for recharging your prayer. I hope you do. Oh, apparently not. But yeah, either way, that's another 25 points. Let's go head over to Pyramid Plunder now. Oh, I just did it. Nice. I just got five points from spam clicking my prayers. Okay, I don't think I've banked in Narda yet, and there should be a task to do that. Yep, just a beginner task, but that's another five league points. Okay, let's start Itchern's little helper so that we can go do the Pyramid Plunder rooms in a bit. Oh, shit. Cool. Okay, Pyramid Plunder room one completed. That was, what, five points? Pyramid Plunder room two completed. That's another five points. <gasps> I don't have Prey Melee, huh? That's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, we're fine though. We're chilling. Okay, complete uh, complete room three. That's 25 points. The points are racking up now. Oh shit, I just got a skilling fragment too. Oh, some more smooth criminal XP. 6.2k out of 8k. We're almost maxed that out completely. Okay, room four. That's another 25 points. Okay, that's 25 points for room five as well. This should be 25 points for room six. Oh, it's 50 points. Dan, I just reached tier four as well. Damn, that's really, really nice. I just unlocked the Chin Chonkers fragment, which is a hunter fragment. Very, very nice. All right, this is the final pyramid plunder toss for now. Complete room eight, another 125 points. Hopefully the scarab doesn't kill me on the way out because that would not be fun. But yeah, we're now at 60, 90 points and we still got more to go. Pretty sure there was a toss to locate with this. Yeah, there was five league points just like that. I hadn't done it yet. Ooh, I got a skilling fragment. Deeper pockets is 3K out of 8K now, nice. Another skilling fragment, 6.8K out of 8K on the smooth criminal fragment. Very, very nice. And that is 50 points for pickpocketing a menophyte thug 50 times. That was a bit of a tongue twister. Those tasks and defeating a crocodile. Another 25 points. We're on 1770. Okay, and that is five league points just like that. Okay, pickpocketing a bandit should be another 25 points if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it is very, very nice. Well, we're at 1800 now. We're really flying up. Bro, am I like glitched? Oh, I finally did it, bro. I just, it took me like 10 cactuses to fucking get the task done. Okay, and this should be 52 agility. I'm just going to go do a bunch of wilderness tasks now. 
Okay, that's what, 10? Oh no, I just got 10 League Points from restoring 5 Prayer Points and praying at the Southern Chaos Temple. Nice. 1815 now. Alright, yeah, that's what, 5? Okay, that's another 5 points for praying at this temple. I hadn't used it yet, so I'm good with that. Okay, that's what, 25 points for entering the Wilderness Dungeon? Let's go kill a Fire Giant. Alright, that is a Fire Giant down, which is what, another 10 League Points? F one for an easy combat achievement and one for the, vol the Walking Volcano. Cool. Very, very cool. Let's go do the Wilderness Agility course, because I kind of forgot that's why I even came up here. We're at now 1855 points. That is a medium task done for completing the Wilderness Agility course. Let's go. Okay, use the ma use the bank at Mage Arena. Five points. Cast high level alchemy. What should we alk? Let's alk a bronze knife. 25 points right there. We're now at 1910. Cast a spell using the law runes. I think that's another 25 points. Yeah, it is 1935 now. Awesome. Okay, cast a blast spell should be another 25 points if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it is. That puts us to what? 1960. And when I finish off this lesser demon, I think it's another 25 points on top of that as well. Putting us to what? 1985 if my mathematics is correct. It is. Nice. All right, 7.5k for, well, five points. Hey, a doobie with a doobie. 1990 points now. All right, let's do Major Arena. Pray into my god Zamorak as per usual. Equip a god cape, 25 points. We're at 20, 2015, we're over 2,000 points now. One of the only people in the game to be over 2,000 points. Come on, son. Give me some unique items, please. Uh, nah, complete a beginner clue scroll though. Five points, 20, 25 points. All right, I got five points for entering the Calphite layer. Another 25 points for what? Just killing a Calphite Guardian? Don't mind if I do. 20,000, 20,000, 2,055 points now. Damn, a task from earlier I didn't even re recognize, bro. Make some flower. Five points. I'm at 2060. Okay, and this should be Prince Ali's rescue complete. I'm not sure if it gives me a task or not, but it unlocks the squirk juices for me. And Okay, yeah, no task. It unlocks the squirk juices for me, which is going to be some more points. Winter squirk done. I think that's the easiest, though. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> All right, I got the summer squirk, which is 50 points. I don't know if I recorded it. Let's do the spring one. Finally, bro. We got that done. We got that done. Finally. Last 25 points, we're at 21,000, 21, 2,165 league points. I have 113 Sage Renounced points to spend. I'm not sure what I'm going to unlock yet, guys, but I am going to leave the video here. If you guys have enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you are new. We're super close to 100k subscribers, and I'm going to be daily uploading the entirety of leagues. So make sure you are subscribed. Rank 20 right now. Let's see what we can get that up to in tomorrow's video. I will see you guys then. Thank you guys so much for watching.